Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. I never ever put myself on camera, but today I wanted to because I'm really excited about this project and I, I want to try to start putting myself on camera more. Um, I don't know, it's just one of those things that whenever I do resin, I have my respirator on so you can't hear me and my house is really, really, really loud. So anyway, I just wanted to hop on and say hi to everyone and let's jump in and I'll show you guys a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. Um, it's the Milky Way resin art paintings and they turned out super pretty. They're so easy to make and you can really get creative with it and customize your colors. You can do any colors that you want for this. Um, I decided to do pink tones for this one. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I truly mean that. Um, if I didn't have you guys watching my videos, I wouldn't have a channel. So I appreciate you all. And let me know what you guys um, think of this down in the comments. And yeah, thanks again. Bye guys. Here's a sneak peek of one of the projects we're going to be making today, or one of the paintings. This is an 11 by 14, and we're also going to be making a 12 by 12 today. So for the canvases, what I did off camera was I added a thin layer of just clear resin. Um, that's going to strengthen the canvas. These canvases aren't the best for resin art, but they 100% work, but you do have to strengthen them with a thin layer of clear resin because if you don't, your resin can pool in the center of your canvas and you don't want that. So off camera, I did a thin layer of clear and spray painted the canvas pink and white, or you could use acrylic paint if you want to too. These are the glitters we're gonna be using. Bubble Bath from Dryer Days Art Studio, Snowdrift and Opal Pink Beauty from Laura's Art Corner, and Palace Sparkler Glitter from Dryer Days Art Studio. I have 24 ounces of resin here, and I'm just making two cups of each of my colors. 24 ounces was too much, but I wanted to have too much than rather have too little, so I always have coaster molds off to the side where I can pour in any leftover resin that I have um, in case I mix up too much. I added about two tablespoons of glitter to each of my cups, and now we're going to go in and start pouring. And I just wanted to go in and do diagonal sections of glitter, um, nothing too technical, just go in and kind of do diagonal sections of each of your colors. We are going to blend this out a little bit, so don't worry if it's looking straight be, we're going to go in tomorrow and do another layer. And I did tape the back of these canvases with duct tape. Duct tape works really good for the back of the canvases. It peels off along with any resin drips that get back there. So I have all my glitter laid down. I'm just going in with my stir stick and blending everything together. I'm using the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy and I'm using that for both layers. I mixed up my resin off camera just to save time. But if you guys are new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin, I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check that out. I show you step by step how to mix your resin. So here I'm just going in making sure the sides are covered, hitting it with my heat gun on high to pop bubbles, and that's it. I covered them up, let them dry overnight, and here we are going in the next day to do the second layer. I'm using the Island Micas and More Surfs Up White tint. I added about 11 drops to 5 ounces of clear resin and I'm also going to be using the Stardust Glitz and Glam Pigment Powder by La Res. It's a super sparkly white, almost super fine glitter but it's more like a mica powder. And then I'm also using the Antique Lace Pigment from Dryer Days Art Studio. That's this pigment here. It's a really pretty kind of gold white pigment. It's gorgeous. So this is what the pieces are looking like. Really pretty and sparkly. And I will link all these materials down below in the description box along with my coupon codes if you guys want to get any of these products to try. I'm going to go in and give a clear... Um, layer kind of like a base layer on each of my canvases here. I'm going to smooth that out, hit it with your heat gun so it um, spreads out a little bit easier. And after we add the kind of base layer of clear, we're going to go in and add our pigments. Um, like I said in the intro, this project is so super simple and easy, and it's really, really fun. They turn out so pretty, in my opinion, and you can do whatever colors you want. 
So here I'm going in with the Surf's Up White, and what I'm doing is I'm just adding kind of zigzaggy diagonal lines. Nothing too technical. I was going over the sections of glitter and right next to the different sections of glitter. I did that with each of my pigments. Same thing with the Stardust and the Antique Lace. Just going in and making squiggly lines. It's a super simple project. I hope you guys give it a try because I feel like they just turn out so gorgeous. And same thing on the 12 by 12 canvas here. Just going in and doing squiggly lines um, with each of my pigments here. And you can take your stick as well and actually run it through each of the colors to kind of give you break it up and give you some fun patterns and designs on your painting here and I did save a little bit of clear that's what I'm going in with here right now you want to make sure you save a little bit of clear because if you add too much of your pigmented resin you can go over it with clear and that'll kind of push the pigments to the side and make some of that beautiful glitter show back up I just went in with my finger and did some squiggly lines just to kind of break up any of the sections where there was too much pigment. Hit it with my heat gun on high to pop bubbles. And here's how it's looking with the wet finish. And that's pretty much it, you guys. That's all I did. I'm going to cover them up, let them dry for 24 hours, peel the tape off the back, and here's how they turned out. This one is the 11 by 14, and you can see that beautiful gold that is from the antique lace pigment it's a really really pretty kind of color shifting gold white mica powder I absolutely love it and if you guys give this a try you're gonna want to not leave the canvas just plain white um, because the white will really show through on your finished piece you want to go in and kind of just add a little bit of color whether that be with a corresponding kind of color of spray paint or acrylic paint you could go in and just kind of paint a little bit of the same colors that you're using on the canvas that'll really help um, it not look as white I did make one of these previously and I left the canvas totally bare it was just pure white and you could see a lot of the white through the finished painting so adding a little bit of color to your canvas before you start your project really really helps kind of just make it more bright and colorful and here's how the 12 by 12 turned out really really pretty and sparkly I love the palace sparkler glitter it's one of my favorites it's super sparkly and gorgeous um, it, when I make these again I'm definitely going to use more of that glitter um, in this like on the side sections you can really see it down the center but I'm going to add more to the sides as well um, when I do this project again I think I want to do blue blue tones next but I need to get um, some more colors of blue glitter before I jump in and do that so thanks so much for watching I hope you guys like this video and I hope you give this a try let me know what you think down in the comments hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you guys next week for another video thanks for watching bye guys